um, welcome to another discussion on uh, st uh, strategic planning and now we'll be talking about developing performance um, measures uh, um, I was about to discuss this morning but then um, our current was interrupted so um, the discussion was uh, interrupted as well so now I'll be recording for the sake of those people who were unable to attend the meeting so uh, let's start off with first is to define what are performance measures first performance measures may be considered standards used to evaluate and communicate performance against expected results now as we all know in strategic planning we all have the objectives or, or we want to achieve in an organization now we develop performance measures to to check you know, if um, the uh, expected results are being achieved or not now they are also in, uh, indicators to track the performance of an organization strategy okay and of course a way of measuring gaps if in actual as compared to targeted levels of performance now also a means of measuring both organizational effectiveness and operational efficiency so um, performance measures are uh, very important in an organization in a way that um, it is used as standards no? to really measure if our um, um, manpower is working well and of course performing the task that is um, expected from them no? now what are the preconditions uh, when we do performance measures number one is to know our mission statements our goals and of course our objectives on the strategic plan no? without this it is useless because we are basing our performance measures in uh, the, the, the mission, strategic uh, mission, goals, and objectives of the strategic plan. Now, of course, we need the knowledge of performance, me uh, performance measures and how to formulate them. Sorry. My... Inahulan. So, uh, knowledge of performance measures and how to formulate them. So, uh, basically, uh, these uh, people, no? we, we, we need to know or we have to be knowledgeable enough to, to, to know performance measures and how to create them as well. All right. Now, also, uh, given its technicality of, uh, of this matter, no? an expert support may be required at this stage. So meaning to say, we need to um, have opinions from subject ma uh, matter experts or SMEs so that we could uh, arrive on a good uh, performance measure. Now, uh, who should be involved in here? The core, of course, would be our strategic planning team. No? And um, next is to, to um, let the whole organization know about the uh, performance measures. No? All levels must be involved in some way or the other in determining the measures. And the SPT must consult with the management and staff across the organization to arrive at a realistic and manageable performance measures. Now, the problem is if we will not communicate this to, to um, other staffs or uh, the management uh, there would be a problem no? because uh, for example in um, educational setting uh, the instructors or professors would be uh, the frontliners and if only the, the top management will be implementing performance measures and uh, the instructors would uh, reject it and that would be the problem so uh, from top to bottom sana ito, no? 
from top management to the um, frontliners. Now, the process. The first step is the SPT should distribute the goals and objectives to concerned operational units in the organization. As we've, um, as, as I was talking earlier about um, disseminating information to different uh, departments of the organization. That's the first, very first step in uh, creating a performance measure. Secondly is to um, the heads of the operational units should consult with their staff through meetings or workshops to come up with a set of performance measures for a given objective. Now, so this is very important. Yung nga sinasabi ko kanina na dapat ipaalam kung hindi lang uh, pinapaalam sa akin nila. Pero mag-conduct ng meetings, workshops, or trainings para sa kanila, para mas ma mapadali, no? mas mapadaling ma-disminate sa kanilang supporting heads. Alright? Now, the following components are necessary. Number one, the unit of measure. And we have a lot, uh, a lot of uh, um, unit measures. No? Pwede ang percentage, pwede ang uh, scores, and etc etc alright second is to look at the baseline when we talk about baseline uh, ito yung magiging basis natin uh, during the uh, strategic planning or uh, during um, the creation of performance measures no? and um, pangatlo is the target of course in creating for performance measures um, bakit natin ginagawa? Para saan? No? So, it's very important that we know our target. Target in um, in the creation of this um, performance measure and uh, who should be the source of information. Sino ang magiging source of uh, information natin? And lastly, who will be the measure owners? So, uh, dapat alam natin ang mga yan. No? Uh, that's the uh, second step in formulating the performance measures. And, um, pangatlo, no? is, yan ito. The SPD should gather the measures devised by all operational units. Yan. Kasi nga, yan, na na disseminate na yung information nagkaroon na ng workshops, meetings. Now, igagather na ito. Alright, kukunin lahat-lahat ang mga uh, pinag-meetingan okay, from the operational units or from the uh, different uh, managers uh, in an organization. And then, the team should obtain the comments of the management team and external stakeholders through workshop meetings. No, So, um, ito na naman. Pagkatapos ng makuha lahat ng comments, i ano naman natin ito sa mga stakeholders? Sino ang mga ito? Okay? It could be our clients. Right? Clients and the, the employees in the organization itself. Okay? So, uh, para mapalish, mas mapaganda pa. No? Wait lang. It should uh, it should then uh, modify and refine the measures based on the inputs from these activities. So, uh, the third step is basically the modification of the, the uh, performance measures. Okay? So, uh, ito na yung uh, pinaka. No? Uh, uh, mod, uh, ve very important uh, part, the modification. Kasi, minsan, medyo mahirap din na... Uh, uh, isa lang ang uh, decision making no? so we need the modification we need to hear from our stakeholders from customers or from the uh, employees in the organization through workshops and meetings all right now um, as um, there is a cost to implementing a performance measurement system okay 
it is better to have a few key measures that help the organization determine success of the strate uh, strategic plan, right? And uh, the, the ease and cost data collection for each measure should be uh, considered as well on this uh, third step, okay? So uh, it should be considered whether the measure will uh, drive desired behavior in the organization or if a measure is not well conceived, it may drive the uh, wrong behavior of the employees or the stakeholders. Okay. Now, the fourth step is to get concurrence of the head of the organization and senior management team on modified performance measures of the strategic plan or um, get an approval from the um, head of the organization, let's say the CEOs or let's say the president of the organization. Okay. Now, uh, that's the uh, four steps of um, performance measures creation. Now, let's take a look at um, some types of um, measures. Okay. So, we were talking about earlier about measures. Now, let's take a look at uh, some Number one here, we have input measures. Pangalawa, output. Pang, uh, pangatlo, outcome. And pangapat, efficiency. And lastly, explanatory. So let's take a look at this individually. First, input measures. So input measures uh, show the amount of resources, either financial or otherwise, okay? used for a specific service or program. So, um, uh, input measures okay, uh, may include uh, labor, let's say materials, equipment, and supplies. Okay? So, um, and dito lahat, yung mga, uh, uh, dito lahat na sasali ang mayan. No? So, uh, our labor, materials, equipment, and supplies. Okay? So, demand for governmental services may also be considered on uh, input indicator. Now, um, what are the examples? Okay. Bigay tayo examples ng input measures. No? Number one here is budget allocation. Okay. Uh, uh, saan natin i-allocate ang ating budget? Number of employees. Kasi and, and dyan yung mga, um, ano natin, uh, and a number of clients eligible for program, number of permit applications received, and number of customers requesting service. So these are just some examples of input measures. Right? Now, let's talk about output measures. Okay? So output measures uh, show units produced or services provided by a service or a program. Now, um, it could include um, the amount of uh, products or services provided, the number of customers served, and the level of activity to provide services. So, uh, what do we do? Okay, to do um, uh, what measures uh, are we going to do? Uh, these output measures could be our services uh, that we provide, okay, number of customers we serve, and the level of activity to provide services okay and uh, output uh, outputs measured could uh, be pupils enrolled in schools or students in, uh, enrolled in schools kasi sila yung mga um sinaserve natin no? so um we are giving um uh, education services okay and of course the number, kasi kasama sa output measures natin ay yung the numbers of customers we are serving. So, ilan ba ang mga students natin, etc., etc. Okay. It could be an uh, inmate's house in a correctional facilities as well. Okay. Pwede ding um, mga pasyente na, na, na treat na and na release sa ating uh, hospital if we are in a hospital um, organization. It could be um, registered um, cars inspected. Okay, 
So pag nasa sabihin natin sa LTO ito na. Sa kung sa PNP naman, kung ilan na ang police reports na na-file natin. Okay? And uh, kung sa BIR, pwede namang number of permit application na na-review natin. And um, sa HPG, pwede traffic uh, citations issued ng mga uh, HPG personals. Alright? Now, pangatlo is the outcome measures. Okay? Outcome measures show results of the services provided. Okay? And um, outcome measures assess program impact and effectiveness and show whether expected results are achieved. Okay? So, um, we use this to, to um, um, show kung, kung talagang um, okay ba yung services natin na nabigay natin sa ating mga customers or sa mga outside stakeholders natin. Okay? So, outcome measures assess program impact. Okay? Kung effective bang um, naging strategy natin. Okay? So, this um, kind of measure measures our or serves as a gauge no? uh, to the effectiveness of our uh, performance measure. Right? So, uh, some examples would be school graduation rate. So, this would show that kung 100% ang graduation rate natin, then our um, um, our vision, our objective is very effective. Okay? Ano pa? Standard dice uh, testing scores na maganda ba ang um, scores ng mga uh, sinaserve natin. Okay? Ano pa? Corrections um, rate, no? Increase in new business, change in highway death rate, okay? Reduction in incidence of communicable diseases, okay? Change in air and water quality. So, mm, makikita natin dito, gin ginagamit natin ang um, outcome measures na ito to, to really look at the progress of uh, our um, services. No? Kung mataas ba ang ating ratings sa mga uh, sa kung nagsadrive ang ating plano and of course to, to the outcome of our uh, plans. And pangapat is efficiency measures. So, efficiency measures reflect the cost per unit of output or outcome. Okay? So, examples would be number of students graduating as a percentage of number of students uh, enrolled. Right? So, efficient ba yung plano natin? Efficient ba yung the way we, we, we are conducting our services? Okay? So, um, tama ba ang uh, ratio ng... Um, naka-graduate at yung mga naka-enroll. Right? So, nung simula bang nag-enroll sila, 50, nag-graduate uh, nag din ba ay 50. Okay? So, is it efficient enough? Alright? And, um, lastly, is the explanatory information. Okay? So, explanatory information can explain the environment and other factors that might affect an organization per, uh, organization's performance. So, uh, this information may give a more complete understanding of the reported measures and identify variables that affect performance. Okay? So, examples would be... Uh, sorry. So, uh, another... Okay. Another indicator type uh, that should be considered is a quality indicator, right? So, a quality indicator shows the effectiveness in meeting and expectations of customers, stakeholders, and other groups. So, therefore, quali uh, quality in uh, indicators show the quality of the services delivered. So, um, this is all about the explanatory information. And um, uh, the examples that I could show you is accreditation of uh, institutions or programs, okay, ano pa? awards or recognition of, of our excellence, and number of customers, uh, number of customer complaints, kung meron man. 
right? So uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much. And um, uh, I'll try to meet you or um, next time I might record it again, my discussion. So uh, you could have um, an access to it. I'll be um, sending this or uh, uploading this in our YouTube. Thank you.